Hello and welcome to another Simple Sunday video. Today I'm sharing a card using some older stamp sets from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to do some stamping on a piece of cardstock here, but I want to have a white background for my sentiment, so I will be doing some masking. And I'm using the sentiment stamp to determine how much white space I need to mask off, and then I will use my Tim Holtz ruler to make sure that I have straight lines. And I'm just using some small post-it notes to do my masking here. And when my masking was finished, I can start stamping, and I will be using this flower from the Always and Forever stamp set. And I'm going to stamp the flowers in three different distressings, and I'm using fired brick, one lipstick, and spun sugar. And I just want the flowers to peek out from behind the white space, and therefore I'm making sure I only show a small section of the flowers. And I'm also stamping a few of the other complementary flowers and swirls from this set. And to make the white look like it's standing out a bit more, I'm using my ink blending tool and the distressings to do some shading around the edges. This way I get a nice and sharp edge that will really make the white part look like it's popped up from the background. And I'm doing a little bit of blending here by using the lighter colors first and then I'm just adding the darkest color closest to the edge. And that was the finished piece and here I'm gonna do some stamping and I'm gonna stamp part of my sentiment and I'm using the word always and stamping it in fired brick distress ink and I'm trying to get it centered on the card to make sure that I can fit the rest of the sentiment in later. And when I have finished stamping the first piece of the sentiment, I am continuing with the rest and I'm stamping those words in archival ink in jet black. And I'm using the grids on my stamp press to make it easier to get the sentiment straight. And when my sentiment was finished, I am just adhering the panel to my card base, which is a standard European A6 card size, as usual. And when the panel is adhered, I am finishing off the card by stamping a sentiment on the inside of the card as well. And I'm using the thank you with all my heart sentiment from the beautiful words stamp set, also from Simon Says Stamp. And that was my card for today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching.